we made it to Silverton, Colorado, which is still at an elevation of about 9,000 feet. Thousand nine hundred and ten feet, and we're off. Colorado, which is still at an elevation of about 9,000 feet. So, let's take a walk around. We've already got coffee and consumed it over at the Coffee Bear. It was very good, highly recommend. But let's go uh, check out some of the really interesting and cool shops. Silverton is a pretty cool little town. Very touristy, of course, but beautiful town here in the valley between all the mountains. As you guys seen, lots of little shops, unique, cool stuff. A lot of homemade, handcrafted stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing or just the beautiful scenery and want to grab a good bite to eat, definitely recommend taking the trip from Durango up to Silverton. Million dollar highway, pretty cool. Uh, or you can take the train. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a good idea to take the train from Durango up. So there's that option. Well, we made it back into New Mexico. Decided to go south. May have been a bad idea because it's extremely hot here. So we're here at Tico Time RV Resort. Only $15 to dry camp. We don't need hookup, so we got the AC running right now, but we do have the roof fan on because we are cooking some delicious looking sausages from Eat Well Today. So we're gonna give these a try. So we're gonna be doing some sausages, peppers, and onions. Uh, I'm gonna have mine on rolls, Brittany not so. But let's check these out. We were gonna uh, cook them on the grill skillet. Too windy outside though, so I'm just gonna pan cook them. But they smell delicious. Bon appetit, look at those. Let's see how Brittany did, she actually cooked them tonight. First bite. These rolls suck by the way, but 
Well guys, before we head out of this uh, RV resort, Tico time, I wanted to show you this morning uh, how our red arc's working, our DC to DC charger. So you can see, as we turn it on, idle, putting in 62 amps. So that is pretty awesome and an insane increase. Uh, that's with a little bit of solar, um, getting about uh, you know four amps, so eight total. Uh, between both batteries with solar prior to this uh, so that's about 58 so you're talking what 116 amps coming in that is pretty crazy to say the least prior to this we were only getting uh, 18 or 19 amps into each battery from the Balmar uh, so you know 36 38 amps total so this is an insane increase then we tested out turning the air conditioner on low and we were getting 23 amps in, and then on high, 16 amps. So that's a really good, really good number. It's a crazy increase. Uh, before we were way in the negative, now we're in the positive. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little adventure to Colorado to check out the sites, get the uh, Red Arc DC to DC charger installed. If you guys are uh, looking for some info on that DC to DC charger, it's the Red Arc 50 amp. We'll put that down in the description. And we'll also uh, put a link to Van Lab's website. That way if you're in the Durango area and you're looking to get some work done, you can reach out to them. So if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you've ever been on the Million Dollar Highway or if you plan to, we would love to hear from you down below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you along for our journey to everywhere. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see.